look right now, right? <laughs> it is 7 o'clock on the dot. So tired. It's funny how, I mean, don't get me wrong, I was traveling and a lot just happened, so I think that's a big reason why I'm tired. But waking up at 6 a.m. and doing what I want, I'm not that tired. Like, okay, I'm like a little exhausted, but today I start my PA job and I feel so tired. Knowing I have to report to somebody, somebody's gonna tell me when I need to eat lunch. I have like a very weird anxiety around this. I think I get a weird anxiety whenever something new happens, like anybody does, kind of. I like change, but I'm just, you know, it's just uncomfortable, so I'm just like, having a whole bunch of what ifs and trying to imagine what it's gonna be like when I should just let go and just be in the moment and let it come. In the next few days, we're gonna have a lot of morning vlogs like this. I can't really promise how much I'll be able to vlog throughout the day, like, I'll be at work. The original game plan was to wake up and go to hot yoga, but here we are, not at hot yoga. I just feel like my body's really, really tired. I also really hurt this shoulder. Probably been over like two weeks now. I don't really know if it happened in yoga. I also, the way that I'm leaning right now, do this a lot. Like I'm always putting weight on this shoulder when I work on my laptop in bed. That has something to do with it, but either way, the shoulder really hurts. So like hitting the downward dog and doing a vinyasa just hurts. Thank God that it is 9 30 today i have to be there instead of the usual eight i saw vlog in the car on the way yay well the good part about this is you guys will get a lot of new music on your phones hopefully because you're gonna watch a lot of car sessions and we just jamming so i'm headed to lot of work i'm really trying to dig deep into my soul and be positive about this i can be a very negative nancy it doesn't help that my commute is 40 minutes there and back but i remember 16 year old casey doing this to go to work at six flags although i had so much fun i was working at six flags like, it was fun so i'm hoping tomorrow my call time is the same as today that way i can go to 6 a.m yoga that is honestly the biggest thing that i'm like do i cancel my membership at this hot yoga place because I'm only gonna be able to go on the weekend so I don't know I'm trying to live in the now oh let me show y'all another really good song What else can I talk about on my morning commute? I'm honestly just so, I'm just like, okay, we're a week out. We are a week out from New Jersey. Me and my family. I'm not really sure where I'm spending New Year's yet. I haven't booked my return flight from New Jersey. I, I just don't know how long I really want to be up there. Last year, if anyone watched me last year, I remember whining so much because I was like, why did I stay here this long? I went home for so long yesterday, or last year, and I told myself I would not do that again this year. I'm considering spending my first New Year's not in New Jersey, but there's never anything to do anyway i honestly don't drink anymore okay y'all saw me drinking in miami so like what casey we could say a lot about this it can get very personal and very deep but i'd rather not okay like, i'd rather not drink certain environments like on the beach at a day party i was like okay but to make things short addiction runs in my family and i just i don't like to contribute to that with all that said i just feel like sometimes being home a lot of the environments i put myself in bad habits live. I don't know if anyone else can relate, but you know, you go back home for the holidays or whatever and you're like, wow, nothing's changed. Or you just go home to bad habits. I'd rather not. You know, if I could not, I will not. Uh, she's not ready to be had that conversation. Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, going into the situation, she's not ready to be had that conversation. Eight hours later, and I look exactly like I did this morning. This is my life, and I also live in this hoodie right now. Comment down below if you have a hoodie or a shirt that you, it just, it's like a go-to. You come home, you jump in it. Today was the first day at work or whatever. It was fine, it was very chill. Things don't really pick up work-wise, like at work until January. It's very easy work right now. But today's challenge was to read a book that you've been meaning to read. You know, you could can just continue a book that you've been reading and you're like, oh, I've been meaning to continue this and you haven't. So that is today's challenge. I'm going to read this book before I go to bed, uh, The Celebration of Breath. You guys know all I read is hippy dippy, spiritual, astrological, conscious living, introspective type of readings. So are we surprised by this? No. This was gifted to me by my older brother who I was just talking to, Taylor. The funny thing about this challenge is I've started so many books recently, guys. I've started The Fifth Agreement. I've started Own Your Own Body. I've started 
something else i'm sure and i should probably be continuing those reads but i really want to start this book it's really crazy because i used to hate reading can we just talk about that for a second i used to absolutely despise reading i thought it was the dumbest thing ever i got so sleepy when i did it i mean i still get sleepy but most people do when you read now i like want to go to every library ever like i'm fascinated with books and i'm usually pretty good but lately i've just been on this thing of being curious about all of them like i've just gotten a lot of new books recently and i'm just like I want to dive into all of these. I also wanted to say, comment down below your book recommendations for me. If you have any books, they don't have to be introspective, spiritual type of books. They could be honestly anything. Comment down below some books you recommend. I really hope you guys try to find a book that you've been meaning to read or found it online or something. Reading is so important for so many reasons and i could sit here and sell you on reading but you should just go do it anyway um uh, got home from work i actually probably should have vlogged but i picked up a little salad and some trail mix my goal with this job that i'm starting is to eat even better i always do this for some reason when i have like a segment of time where i'll be doing something like even when i travel like i'm like i like to add a challenge to it like when i went to houston for a weekend i was like i'm gonna eat raw vegan that entire time so part of me wanted to make that the challenge for this i was like i want to be raw for six months i'm not saying that might that it's not gonna happen but i just want that to be my main thing like i want to eat mainly raw like high raw i'm not gonna say i'm gonna be completely raw but more than anything i just really don't want to gain any weight it was very easy in this industry and in this job because there's just snacks everywhere where you go you're working in an office it's 12 hour days it's so easy to just kill time or be bored and snack and like eat your boredom so anyway after i got my little dinner i just talked to my brother taylor lately we've been talking on the phone for hours i don't even realize it we just talked for two hours i don't know where that came from but it's been nice i'm gonna read though i'm gonna end this vlog i know we were only in three places in this vlog and i'm really sorry about it and i love you guys and i hope you love me too and i really pray that the next two days aren't like this anyway i will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog Bye.